Right, there is a great game in store on Sky Sports tomorrow evening when Newcastle hosts Liverpool at St James's Park. A boost for Eddie Howe, who could have Callum Wilson, Miguel Amiron and Alan Sam Maximan available. Joe, Joe Willock, though, is a major doubt for him. Let, let's hear from Howe now, then. After Arsenal were beaten by Manchester City, you now own the only unbeaten home record in the Premier League. That's six wins, five draws this season, and you haven't lost at home since you last played Liverpool here. Um, how central has that been to your success? There have been a lot of draws, but you haven't been losing. Yeah, I mean, it's been pivotal. I think your home form always is to how successful your season is. Um, we've enjoyed playing at home. I think lately we've been a bit frustrated. We, we've wanted more goals. We've wanted more uh, clear-cut chances, but I think teams have defended well against us and they've defended with a clear plan and it's up to us to find solutions to those problems. We have the capability, I think, to do that. Um, I think Liverpool will provide a different test than maybe we've had in recent weeks. They're, a, they're still a top team um, with an outstanding manager, so we know the test is, is a, a huge one this weekend. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. Keith. Hi, Eddie. Um, I guess, talking about the players who are, who are available and the fact the injuries aren't quite as bad as potentially could have been, I guess yeah. it's been a relief for you this week. Um, yeah, we didn't think, uh, I think I said after the game, we didn't think Miggies was bad. I think he took a knock on his hand. It was enough for him to come off in the game, but it wasn't enough to give him any long-term damage. Maxi was pretty quickly back on his feet and was OK. So I think pretty early we knew that those injuries weren't serious. Joe was the, the big concern. And after a scan, we've got some good news that it's uh, not serious. I guess it shows how quickly things can change, though, when you've got a, a thin squad like that, if you get a few injuries in the one position. Uh, yeah, I think I think most teams in the Premier League will face a similar problem. If you get a lot of injuries in one position, you're certainly um, in a difficult position. And that's where having versatile players is absolutely crucial for your players that can play in different roles. And you've seen Joe Linton this season. He's played a number of different roles, and that's why he's such a key player for us, because uh, that can... Um, that can give you strength even though you're light in numbers you know you have the players you can shuffle around Yeah, you touched on it there um, but I guess you don't know any other way you've got the cut final in the background a few bumps and bruises do you just have to ask the, the players to go to the well again and, and go full throttle yeah I think it's our, our only way and it's our only chance of, of being successful for me you can't play these games in any way less than 100% especially not against the top teams and we're facing them in the next three weeks so no, we'll ask the players to give 100% effort. I think training is should be tailored to your needs. Um, so I hope the players will be really fresh this week and able to give their best. Do you feel that you, the team owe Liverpool won after earlier on in the season? I wouldn't say owe Liverpool won. We owe ourselves um, to do our best in this game and do everything in our power to try and win the match. Uh, I'm reluctant to use Liverpool as motivation for us. We shouldn't need that. It should come from ourselves and our league position and our needs and wants to have a successful season. When you look at the league table, you must be really pleased where you are at this moment and you see the likes of Liverpool and Chelsea below you in the table. Are you surprised to see Liverpool down in ninth position and nine points out of the Champions League places? I think I've said many times, I don't really look at the league table. I don't study it and analyse it. And I think the reason for that is it changes so quickly. So you can look at it one second and then a couple of weeks later it has a totally different um, view on it. So. For me, I look at it purely, can we maximise our efforts in this game? And if we do that every week, the league table will take care of itself. Certainly, I'm aware where we are. We're in a great position, but we know there's some big teams below us, desperate to, to climb the table. I don't think we can focus on that or them. We just have to focus on us, as I said. And when, when you first arrived at the club, I remember at your opening press conference, you said you wanted to make St James's Park difficult to come to a fortress. You've, you've definitely done that. I mean, I think the, the only defeat since the start of last year was a Liverpool one in, in league duty. How pleased are you that, that, that the players have responded to, to what you wanted there? Yeah, I think it's a team effort. I think we've tried to maximise and give our all in the game and we've tried to make that shown to, to the crowd that we we're desperate to win our body language needs to be good we need to be keen and positive and looking to win I think that's so important and then the crowd have carried us from from that I think initial intent from us the crowd have then seen that and they've been they've been outstanding in difficult moments good moments they've backed us and for me they've made the difference and 
we're definitely going to need them again. And just finally from me, this weekend would be Sir Bobby Robson's 90th birthday. There's going to be uh, a War Flags uh, celebration there for you guys coming out. And of course, it's just a week before the, the Cup final as well. It feels like there's just a lot of added excitement around, around this game. A real special, another special occasion tomorrow. Yeah, a, a really fitting tribute to an incredible man. I was I consider myself unfortunate not to have met him and spent time with him. But I've heard a lot of stories about him from people here at the training ground, um, people connected to the club. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the tribute and, and embracing that and uh, paying tribute, as I say, to a remarkable person. Well, Neddy, uh, promise I'll only ask a couple about the League Cup final because I know full focus is on Liverpool. We talked tickets last week. I wonder what the strangest request you've had about tickets has been. Strangest request? Yeah. Mm. I imagine you'll have had a few random ones. Hey, well, just, just people I don't know. Yeah, that, I think that's quite, <laughs> that's quite strange. People are, I've got no idea who they are. <laughs> so it's like a stranger asking, have you got tickets? You know, yeah, so that's, that's the strangest thing rather than any special request. There you have it. You can see Eddie has Newcastle take on Liverpool tomorrow. That is on the Saturday night football. Key game for both these sides is the latest instalment in the Premier League fixture that has served up some crackers over the years.